report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. We contacted CyberLife for comment, but no longer. Looking good, Marcus. Really digging the drip. Wait, where'd you get this? Oh, he put it in my hand. All right, look for that symbol, I guess. Look for the graffiti. Hmm. Well, there's that image. Hold they on. Missed some change I don't have any money pal sorry about that that's it right there right clue updated find this graffiti oh great it's a treasure hunt so we're looking for a lion next right half of a lion head and another half of a boxer's glove Okay, there's something of, of there of interest. Let's check whatever this thing is. What was that? Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature, Canada is a true land of the free. President Warren to make the visit to the United Kingdom. Oh boy. I, I think that's her, right? Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. Residents in Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after a police manhunt, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews, flushed out of a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an android. The Rogue AX400 model is throughout to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police, even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Eyewitness statements are inconclusive, and with no official report, it's impossible to say for sure what really happened. But local news correspondents are looking into the case at this very moment. No CyberLife spokesperson was available to comment, and speculation looks to continue. Yikes. Android astronauts to explore uh, IO. EO, actually, I think it's pronounced. Hackers target solar panels uh, uh, for latest ransom scam. Yikes. NASA announced the launch of a five android crew to explore Io, or Eo, one of Jupiter's satellites. The journey will last three years and expected to teach us much about the formation of our solar system, though not the first android in space. It's the first of all machine crew, pr uh, proving that androids are sufficiently reliable and entrusted with an entire mission. Androids are an extraordinary asset for the conquest of space, said Michael Shelley, director of NASA. Cosmic radiation destroys human DNA. Humans suffer many effects from long-term space travel, while these androids are immune to most of these issues. NASA confirmed no return journey was planned, and that the androids would work on EO for several months before being destroyed by the extreme conditions of the planet. Yikes. Left to die. Or left to colonize. All right, well, there's no lion head right now or a man with a boxing glove, so we press on. What does it feel like, Marcus, coming back here as a person of personhood? Oh, it's right in front of me. Anything else of importance? Guess that parking station. Can I interact here? Do you know where Jericho is? 
Not much of a talker. Okay. And scan this. And then scan... Scan what else? Oh, you're here. Nice. Two stars. What is this? Red pipes. Above the barbed fence. High on the wall. Hmm. This could literally be anywhere. There's green gonk on the floor. How would they know that, by the way? <laughs> like, how would that? How am I finding these things? Oh, right. It's like a, like a, like a, a scan, right? Like a Q scan. QR scan, I think it's called. Barely have any for myself. Nope. Nope. Pretty sure the game will stop me, right? Give me an invisible wall? Yeah. Ah, there it is. See it up ahead. Anything of interest? Two, huh? Where's the second symbol? Where's the second? Oh, right here. Alright, what's next? Robot. Red robot. Alrighty. Wow, just how much is available to be explored. It's a whole city black. I think it's up ahead. I'm going to check out the other side real quick. Oh, okay. It stops me. Good. So I was heading the right way the whole time. So are these things made of plastic? These robots? Like, I mean, yeah, they're made of plastic, but more plastic than metal then? Because there seems to be a lot of ways that they can get hurt and damaged almost to a point of um, where it's almost like they're as fragile in terms of uh, physical trauma uh, as humans are or organic life is. I guess my concept of androids has always been like they're made of metal and uh, metal parts and they're recyclable and they're salvageable, that kind of stuff. But in this game, I guess the lore for their androids is a bit different and... Truth be told, they haven't really gone into it yet, so... Like, we don't know how they're made exactly. And it seems like there is some synthetic replicants of what organic parts are that kind of serve the body, such as blood, a heart, a pumping heart. So there's some, there seems to be some synthetic um, replicant of human organs that fit these androids. Okay, so it's not down here. I'm just checking, folks. I'm just going to, like, every... Nook and cranny, just to make sure uh, I don't miss anything like I did the police station. Ah, here it is. Jesus, took forever and a half. Okay. One, two, and then three. Right? That's the third one right there. Oh, come on. Oh, great. I don't know, is there another one around here? I know where the third one is. I mean, the third one's right there, but it's blocked by the damn wooden panel. Oh, here we are. Oh, 
It's right here. Ooh, a sewer. Clue updated. Two faces. One organic. One droid. Right there. That's where it is. I still can't believe that um, Connor found me so easily. Ah, damn, that sucked. I wonder if I would have had more time if I went to the uh, the front door. Okay, it's up there. Just get closer to it, I guess. Three. Um. Interesting. Oh, wow. I only see the one. Oh, what? Oh, that's gonna be- this is gonna be a pain. What the hell? The woman's face. It's gotta be. No? Find a way to reach the roof. Why, is there one on the roof? I mean- oh, oh okay. I think maybe there's one on the roof. So every android has to do this when searching for Jericho? Damn. Okay. Now I can scan this wall again, right? Right there. Perfect. Wait, what? Oh boy. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Pre-construct. Wait, use the right stick to select a route. RT to preview route. Would be too unstable. Yikes. Okay, about up here? What, I can't use that to swing? Oh, uh, yeah, how about this then? And then up here. How would this go? Oh, that's the only path? <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Got a bit of parkour action. All right, so let's look at this card again. Sparkle. Huh. Repair store. Red brick. Hmm, yellow font. Here we are. That was easy enough. Nowhere else is a point of interest, so let's go ahead and just check this, I guess. Here we are. Sneaky! Oh god, where is this next? So there's that route. Anything else? Let's construct this route. Just for funsies. Ooh. Would not be solid enough. Yikes. Okay, I guess this is the only other alternative. And then from here, I could go through the wall again. 
What about this one? What does this do? Yikes. Game over. Okay, guess we're doing the wall jump again. Okay, and then from here... Easy is jumping up to the next platform. Whoa, it's too high. Huh. Oh, nice. Perfect. Imagine doing this in the middle of chaos. How would they be able to calculate with accuracy in the midst of a like chaotic situation like a firefight or something like that? So sick. Oh, we didn't bring a flashlight with us, did we? Did we? Oh yeah, what is this? What does this look like? What are we looking at? Okay, it's inside. And where is this? Okay, there's a pillar in the center. But where's the where's the symbol? It says it's this, but where the hell's the symbol? One symbol. Like where? Oh, here? Oh, nice. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, this, this one didn't make it. You know what would have been cool is if we took all the other spare parts with us to have extras? Just to, like, repair other droids, you know? That would have been cool. Alright, well, in future, we gotta make this scavenger hunt a lot easier. Gotta squeeze in through here. Uh, okay. Uh, what does it look like again? Ooh, really nice scene going on here. Absolutely gorgeous. Jericho! Did that say Jericho? It's a shipping vessel. <laughs> oh, no way! That is so cool. A sh fucking shipping vessel. That's so cool. And then we go. Oh, Jesus! Well. That, that is not good. Has that bridge been used in a while? Alright, let's go up here. Finding another way to the boat. Oh, man, how are we going to do this? But at the same time, how cool is that? I wonder if we're going to get in there. It looks it looks abandoned, but when we get there, there's going to be like thousands of us. But we got to be careful. It's RA, RA9, right? Like, what the hell does that mean? What the hell could RA9 do? Is RA9 the leader of that shipping vessel? Getting a little shaky with the frames here. Just gotta make sure we load in the world properly. Wow. This is insane, dude. The visual rep uh, presentation in the, the sets uh, for Quantic Dreams, like for this game, is really impressive. And really creative, too. Oh my god! I'm dead. No, I'm dead in the water. Do I even need to breathe? Well, that was a long-awaited bath, to be honest. 
It is upon here where we build our temple. RA9! Are you here? RA9! Examine. Oh, it's a flashlight. Uh, a still working flashlight? No way. <laughs> of course, video game logic. Explore the boat. Yikes. Is anyone in here? Let's try this door first. Door number one. I guess I'm not superhuman enough. Yeah, I suppose they're not superhuman, these androids. Ah, things to find. So we have two doors. Door left, door right. Let's try the left first. Looks like it's sealed. And how about this one? Sealed as well. There's beds here. Yes. This. This is where we'll build our kingdom. Hello? Friendly coming through! Alright, dead end. Got it. Hello? It had a blue LED though. So, it's quite calm. It's not under duress, which is a good thing. We don't want them to perceive us as a threat. Bend down. Yeah. Why don't we say anything like, hello, friendly android. through here. Wow, the ship is massive. I mean, it looked massive uh, from afar as well, but the scope of it. I am RA9. Welcome me with open arms as your king god. Uh-oh. Whoa! <laughs> God, I am just breaking down this ship. I hope they have extra ladders and stuff like that. Among good company, I hope. <gasps> Daniel? Welcome to Jericho. Whoa, what did I miss? I miss I missed other readings and stuff like that. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, they had us, you know, do a lot of things though to go ahead and find uh, Jericho. <laughs> that was a wild scavenger hunt. That took a lot of time, but we found it. Now we're among friendly company. I uh, one would hope. I think maybe with RA9, assuming this is RA9, we will better understand what it means to be sentient. Anyways, that's it for this episode, folks. I will see you on the next one. My god, what have we become?